Well, welcome back to KSAN News. We've got some active weather moving into the forecast with up-level disturbance on the way, and I'll dive right into it to tell you what is actually going on. Well, we'll see possible thunderstorms tonight. A cold front comes through tomorrow evening. What that's going to do is set up our next system to bring us a chance for some freezing rain and possibly some sleet to the Concho Valley. But overall, staying cooler throughout much of the Contra Valley and through the week, thanks to that cold front. And now starting to see some showers, especially into Sutton, Slyker, and Contra County. Seeing some showers start to infiltrate northern half of San Angelo and the portions of Merton area as well. Just getting some of that active activity as we go into overnight, thanks to a dry line and a low pressure system and up level disturbance moving. It's going to move off to the northeast, bringing some line of showers and storms. Already seeing some storms pop off to our north here. I expect some of these storms could be a little strong, but the best severe chance will be to our north. Looking right now, you can tell who is experiencing showers, seeing 50s and 60s in the Panhandle, 70s into portions of Dallas-Fort Worth and out to the east, 80s towards the south, like in Laredo and San Antonio, 60s in Marfa, they're getting a good spread of moisture as well. And that's what we will be seeing as we go into the next couple hours as well, with temperatures currently dropping. We're at 82 degrees right now. Feels like 80 with humidity at 27%. Still seeing gusty winds, and then we're going to increase that with that upper level disturbance. South winds at 17 miles per hour. We could see gusty winds as another threat going forward as well. In 70s here in portions of Coke and Sterling County, because they're getting some showers in Ozona, starting to taper down as well, getting out of those low 80s to highs that we saw today. Now, let's look at the severe outlook look. So, really, we're in the first category, the lowest category of severe storm outlook by the SPC. Marginal risk, and what that means, we could see these following impacts. Again, most of the severe weather, the strongest storms will be to our north, near Abilene and portions of Wichita Falls and Dallas area. But we cannot rule out heavy rain, damaging winds, hail, and lightning, and a possibility to see a low risk, very low risk, for our tornado. Again, not expecting to see a tornado tonight, but definitely can't rule it out with storms actually getting severe going in tonight. But to, as we go into Tuesday, temperatures will be quite warmer back into the upper 70s, near 80. Then that cold front comes through, we'll see temperatures drop fairly into the 30s. Look in the Panhandle, they'll be in the 20s with rain and freezing rain extending from eastern Texas all the way into our Contra Valley region. Well, we could see the chance of some freezing rain sleet transitioning to Thursday morning and keeping that into Thursday late morning as well with temperatures in the 40s and continuing to be in the 40s all day. Definitely looking like a cold day overall for us and into Saturday. Now we do models are hitting a little another disturbance, more of another low, bringing some showers Thursday and Saturday. But again, too early to tell on that, but definitely keeping the cold weather. If the moisture holds up, we could see some showers more for our eastern counties and maybe the East Texas and Austin area. But overall right now, we'll just keep the monitor knowing that we could see a chance to see some wintry weather going into Wednesday and Thursday. Then clear out by Sunday back into the 60s. Tonight, though, as we get into closer to 8 o'clock hour, starting to see some cells pop up here on this uh, Red Ops Future Cast right now. Again, some of the maybe stronger cells, maybe to the northern half of the Concho Valley, but overall looking like some moderate rain with this model here. Again, can't rule anything intensifying going into the next couple hours here, but tomorrow you step out, it's going to rise into the 50s and then get into the 60s, 70s by 12 o'clock before things start to get back into the upper 70s. Tonight we'll drop down around, we'll be in the 50s, with storms being a little severe for our north. We'll see some strong cells possibly, but again, most of us will see some rain. Then we'll get down into the 79 degrees, sunny and warm with westerly winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Your next five days will be up and down trend with cooler weather on the way to the Contra Valley and a chance for some wintry weather as well. Stay where you are. We have more case news right after this.